zoom in and twirl and shit. Final Four really stepped up the loading screens with like the the green shit, and then like you can move them not just this way but left to right. Oh my god! Future of gaming, Fallout Four. Audio under control. That doesn't go anywhere. I guess we better try this way. In beyond, in beyond, in beyond. We have to keep moving. <laughs> That is not in vanilla, either of these potions. This way. Up. There's a bear just ahead. Fucking bear, dude. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. And watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Okay, well. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Doesn't sound smart. Also, I have not gotten to try out the bow yet. I had to do disable improved camera to show my body because with the dodge mods, it like bugs out the dodge mods. So I'd rather have a dodge than be able to see my footsies. What was cool about it is if like I get tackled or something, it would all be in first person, like if I got knocked over, and I I love that. So if you like fall over or get shouted at or something, you get just tumbled and look really cool with it. It broke more important mods, so my feet will ever remain invisible. Um, we're gonna shoot at the bear. Even though I normally don't. But I haven't gotten to use a bow yet, so we're gonna do it. So it does the shake. Sneak oh, so great. Great. Sneak hurts. That's so much better than the dagger. Oh my god. That's steel dagger, I don't even have it equipped. Hold up. I'm doing this all through controller on a monitor build, so it's gonna be a little awkward.
80? They see that's a little bit higher. That's like 1 to 10 ratio. That's not bad. I feel like that's better than vanilla, so they definitely tweak that a little bit. Also, I came out a lot more pink than I recall the character creator making me look. I was trying to be like a cool shade of perp, but I guess we're a, we're a pink dark elf. That's, that's what it's gonna be. I guess the idea was we were, we were born in Ash Mountain or something and we just got toasted up, I don't know. It's not too bad, I mean, it's probably when I go outside I'm gonna reflect like a stop sign. Like this. That looks like the way out. Also, I wouldn't carry two bows. At least. Also, if I found a cool dagger, I'd be like, oh, these daggers are fucking garbage. Don't need them. This is kind of going to be an RP ish playthrough to some degree. Like, I'm not going to just horde and do min max and all that bullshit because also this game changes all of the perks with um i think it's called ordy redux i think it's called for example we go into i don't know let's check out the sneak how much has that changed 50% extra damage and it's just one point this has this blade 50 of archery faster draw straight up stagger it was 50% though faster guaranteed crit damage to enemies of full health that's pretty good Probably gonna go for the huge one-handed archery combo. Um, might do two-handed, not sure. Depends on what I'm feeling. I'm definitely gonna use both to see what I like because this mod changes a few things. Plus I have new animations for first person. So I prefer first person. Maybe a little bit of destruction. I started with 20 in destruction. What's crazy though is even though I start with 20 in destruction, um, they don't give you any stock spells as a dark elf with whatever the race tweaks are. You get straight up 50% dam fire damage, but literally no built in power besides Bless Home, which I have no fucking clue what that does, um, and remove projectiles, which I think is just more of a mod utility. But I, I legit don't have any spells as a dark elf, which is kind of odd. But we'll see. You're big sexy over here. Those fucking back muscles. Mm. It's covered in the blood of children. <laughs> Wait! There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. Mm. Better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. Oh yeah, I'm sure she she'd like... help you out. Okay. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today.
looks great. This is EMB off again. Ugh. EMB on. EMB on. EMB on. A lot more color. A little bit more subdued lighting. Interior is a little darker. Much more. You know. Much more contrast. You should go to sure. Windhelm oh, yeah, and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's all. Yeah, the. Imperials kind of suck, man. They were just gonna chop my head off for not knowing shit about me. What's up, you want those flowers, Ray Rob? Hold on. Hold on, boo. Wait. Okay. And again, not gonna be min maxing. I know I've grabbed a few flowers. I feel like that's just a reaction, but. For real, gonna go slower. Not just gonna grind out stuff. Literally just gonna live quest to quest. I have survival mode on? On. And I don't know how they set the HUD for this mod or anything, but also it is on normal difficulty because it's called Blade and Blunt. It completely changes damage values and everything. And I did a, the gaming, uh, like a test run with a generic character in like a, a mine and Man, like 2v1s, whew, it's tough uh, at first, obviously. So I'm going to keep it on Adept, and if uh, I feel too OP down the road, I will bump it up. But we'll see. We'll see. I want it to be hard, but uh, this game is not precise enough for it to be, you know, Souls level hard. What's up, homie? Lead away. I've never been to Skyrim, so I'm like a fish out of water here, man. I'm See that a... ruin up there? The Ash Bleak Falls Barrow. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. It's actually. I kind of guess beautiful, you get used to. To be it. honest, I wouldn't mind it. It looks awesome. Yeah, the weather mods too look great. And this is Septimus 4. It is not focused on making the game as beautiful as possible. It is focused on uh, stability and FPS, which uh, it has been good so far. I mean, games you know, stutter, especially Bethesda games. All the shit it has to load in, but on a whole, I'm not sure These how it looks. These are the Guardian Stones. Stream end, but for me, Three it's, of the 13 it's ancient totally standing good. stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. Alright, so I believe these have been changed. This game also changes a ton of... Uh, not a ton of stuff, it's like a vanilla plus. With a bunch of content and some, like, legit gameplay tweaks. So it it's supposed to be like a, a new game, but still Skyrim. You know, with a lot more stuff for you to do. Those under the sign of the warrior have more health and are effective at blocking you may only have one blessing at a time. I don't see myself with a shield a lot. Um, and there's a parry mechanic in this where you can stun people by blocking uh, within a half second, I don't know, of them attacking. Which does work, but there's a cooldown on it. You can't just Sekiro everything, you know. Um, but I don't see myself using a shield much. But more health is good. Mage stone. More magicka and spend less when casting spells. That's got to be amazing. That's actually... And so already the stones are like, we don't want you to grind, like, because this stone allows you to grind faster, so you're obviously going to choose it. This is more of like a... All the stones are very balanced, probably, and like you have to really think about what to choose, rather than just like, well, I'm not level 100 in everything, so I'm never going to unequip that stone. But this looks really good. Like, if you're going to go to casting, and there's a lot of new spells added with whatever mod is in it for spells. So I might, like, end up doing spells and totally leave the bow behind. And we'll see. I don't know. No magic right now, because I don't even have a spell to cast, which is weird. Unless they make spells a little more meaningful when you get them. I don't know. Wow. 
more stamina. Stamina is very hard to manage in this. Um, move faster and take less damage from falling. Move faster and more stamina sounds good. Thief, eh? It's Start never too late to take charge of your own faith, you know. Because you know what Dodging. Oh, does that do the roll? Hold up. The roll is two Dark Souls. That's not going to be a thing. Can we switch it to dash? Shit, where was it? It was here. No, it wasn't. Ultimate dodge mod. Roll only. We'll do sidestep. Um, okay. Gamepad, yep. I will not be having the enemies dodge. I play tested that and it was obnoxious. Even if you set it on the lowest setting, they're literally non-stop dodging. They don't stop. Like, you can't hit them. It's super annoying. So we're just going to keep this dodge mod. As you can see, it uses a lot of stamina. Also, for example, if you block and do like the spam push, look how much stamina that is. You do that two or three times, you're out of stamina. When you're out of stamina, you take more damage, you are slower. It sucks to be out of stamina in this, in this mod, so mod pack, I should say. So, can we one and two this? Nice. Let's go very loud. Ooh, this is nice. Hold on. Remember, this isn't storm for heaven. We're ahead of the news from hell, and we should be fine. I hear you, Gus. with the bow. I like it. How much do you change up? What does the sneak shot look like? Actually, it's kind of literally identical. It's fine. Uh-oh. You're just going to leave me with the wolves? stuttery there, sprinting. My CPU is low, my memory is low, your GPU is probably screaming and melting, but neither stuff's fine. So it's just a game. How much is a wolf pelt, by the way? What's a wolf pelt go for these days? One to five ratio on the wolf pelt. One to ten for the bear. Okay. And hey, make ten gold might be a lot in this mod. I don't know. Maybe prices are kind of balanced out. Maybe things are cheaper, but gold's a little harder to come by. I don't know. We'll find out. to God raise. Oof, that FPS not good though. You are tired, which reduces your fatigue. Also decreases how quickly you recover magicka and stamina and the effectiveness of potions. Sleep in a bed to reduce your fatigue. Sleeping indoors allows for more restful sleep. Sleeping outdoors. Okay. I feel you. Man, even with the static screen, I can't even hit 60. I wonder if that's because I'm also streaming, or I don't know. 
towards these gorgeous god rays. Okay, so I'm I'm first level tiger, which means stamina comes back slower, which honestly is not good. I don't know how long I'll have survival mode turned on, but we'll give it a run. It's kind of a hazy day. Or night, I should say. What time is it? 6.30? I need to keep forging. You need what is watch. it? A dragon! Spend a dragon. on the job again? What? What is it now, mother? It was as big as the mountain Raymond. and black as night. What are you doing here? It flew right over the barrel. I'll be right down. Dragons now, is it? Please, mother. I got a torch. Do I have a torch? It's a negative. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. I believe you. I seen it. Oh. <laughs> all right, got the forge. Smelter. Was there always a smelter here? I feel like no. I feel like this has been added. Call smelter being there. Scavenge wood pile. Will I get in trouble? For this? Oh, I can just steal other people's hard work. That's awesome. I guess we will go look for Raylock. He said by the mills. Let's go take. Crazy fog. Hello. This nice little fish up here. Now, Ray. What's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. <sighs> Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days. ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. I had this lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Please, for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real, live... I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody uh, else has come up the south road to the anyone going as far to as I know. say hello? Good. Or Maybe we can lay up visible. for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gergo, but. Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. All right. You imagine meeting a stranger for the first time and just be like, "Hey, here's a key to my house. Come on over any time. We'll murder you." Yeah. And she just offers me. Whatever. I'll take one. I wouldn't just take all of her stuff, you know? Just be like, oh, thanks. Oh, take my ring. No, I'm not gonna take your ring. Get out of here. 
a whole wheel of cheese. Grab a carrot, a loaf of bread, because I'm probably starving from being uh, tied up to a cart for God knows how long. That beard sounds real good. I'll probably just be like, oh, I'll have some meal, and she'll be like, nah, you need to drink this. Actually, I've got black briar mead. I have my own. There is something you could do for me, okay. for all of us here. What's that? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Thanks, sister. I knew we could count on you. I guess I can. I ought to get back to work before I'm missed, but did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric's Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and... You know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Mm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll, I'll see you back. later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. Oh, yeah? Where are you laying in the cut? Huh? Alright, buddy. These get you high. All right. While they walk away, I think I would sit on this rock. It is 8:12. I have no idea if my character on this survival mode they have needs to eat or what. We're gonna pretend we do for now. We're gonna knock back some of that black rare mead, which gives us more stamina and less magic of the spells, so who cares? Munch on this carrot. Have a little bit of cheese. I said I was well fed, so I'm guessing that was enough. You could just straight up eat raw meat still, which is great for me. Cool with that. I don't know if there's a thirst meter, because there's really no such thing as water in Skyrim. Right. Oh, that would make it 8 o'clock. I feel like we need to make sure we have a roof. Also, I need to look up the console command to set time scale down to like 10, maybe 12. 12. I feel like 12 is a good spot. Sometimes I like how extra slow 10 is. Um, whoa, what the fuck? That sounded big. Is it you? Dog Reaver. Well, that's got to be a new sign, right? Oh. oh, look at that. It's got like little bugs around the lantern. I'm probably pointing out things that already existed in vanilla. I'm just blind to, but you know. screen for a tiny house. We'll see if these improve Orgnar. in time. Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. Oh my god. Gale is going bad. We need to get Yo, can I pay you to stop? Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Well, that's I guess you don't nice. have potatoes in your ears after um, all. Just make sure we get a fresh Can I make a request? Shut up. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. 
I like I like interrupt him because it sounds horrible, but I want to be nice about it. So I'm just like, yo, man, you're so good. Where did at you at the Bard's to College in like Solitude? Asshole? They train bards and scalds like myself. If you go there, talk to Viarmo. He's the headmaster. Mm. Um. You promised me you'd sweep the entrance. I was told to go alert the Jarl in Wait, White Run. Let me guess. Where the fuck is You'll that? Just head north. Don't you can't miss always. it. God. I don't suppose watch I out, bro. You, to take care of it now, could I? you better watch out. Why are you staring at me like that I with your guess. hairy ass chest? Anyways. Um, where can I get some fresh supplies? I recently just busted out of prison. Lucan's got a little bit of everything at the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. Sounds good, man. Can I make a request? Sure. What can I do for you? Um, don't play anything. Until next time. Alright, we gotta cook a pot. What can we do? Gotten anything? Ooh. Well. Salt pile and cabbage. 1800 seconds. Okay. We should cook up this rabbit while we're here. Cabbage soup. Got food for later. Hmm. Oh, look how much cooler the alchemy station looks. I like that. Very cool. Whoa! Updated the music. I like it. Delphine, you got a facelift. I don't know if I like it. I feel like I feel like I like Delphine's original look. I don't know. First, we're gonna talk to this guy because I came in. I am myself a dark elf and a very interesting pink one, apparently. And, uh, this guy looks like, uh, it's my speed. Hello. Can I help you? What's your name? I'm Mandin Hlalu, representative of the great house Hlalu of Morrowind. I'm here in Skyrim on urgent business. Urgent? What kind of urgent? I doubt it, but thank you for the offer. The kind of help I need. I need someone with power beyond measure. Well, it depends on where you need the power, you know what I'm saying? But hey, it's cool, man. I, uh... I don't even know any spells. Thank you. Well, bye. Then safe travels, my friend. You too, man. Oh. Going? If this guy leaves, we're following him. No, we just switch up the seats. Okay. Hello. Out of my way, stranger. Is it because of my skin? Um. What's your problem, man? Either I'm drunk or you're naked. Possibly both. Ah, I see. You're a mean drunk. Well. Yeah, yeah. I would take it as you don't like Dark Elves, and, uh... I'm gonna leave you to your own. Oh, you're the smith, right? Hey, man, you the smith? Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. You looking for a new blade? Are oh, you selling even now? Damn, guy's slinging at the tavern. Uh... What kind of shit you make? Iron and steel, mostly. I might even have some of your fancy elven pieces lying around somewhere. What you mean by elven, dog? Okay. Just because I'm elven don't mean me fancy. Okay? I was born in ash, literally. It's a whole new meaning of ash. Um, 
this is iron and steel, like, like what? Like, swords? Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Hmm. I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Okay. I wouldn't know shit about horses, I feel like. I wouldn't ask that. Um... So there we go. There's a dragon about. Um, I kind of want to give people a heads up because this lady was really nice and gave me some bread and shit. How do I get there? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. Thank you. Have a good day. Until next time. You got some, uh, some shit on your face. Hello? You're that visitor been poking around. Uh, yeah? Uh... You, uh... Scared of noobs? I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. Most of my customers are locals, come here to relax after a hard day's toil. Hmm. That's kind of what I'm here for. Do you, uh, get any weirdos around here, you know, being on the road? The war keeps most folks away these days. So what's your story? Just here to relax? I mean, it depends. Um, yeah, I, I just got out. You know, and I I even saw a dragon like today. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that. Right then. You look like you could use an ale. My life's dope, and I do dope shit. Kanye West. Uh, 40 gold? Oof, that sounds like a lot. Um How much is a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I, okay. Um, how much she robbed me for? Oof, more than half my gold. Ouch. Are you gonna show me to my room? Or are you? You ain't, okay. What's up, man? Can I get you something? What you, uh, I just ate, but I could be swayed. By the way, is that your girl over there? That's her business, not mine. Probably not yours either. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, yeah, so uh, she just took me for like 40 gold. Uh... I don't have enough money to even buy food if I wanted to. Y'all got any, like, jobs around here? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. A bounty, man? I don't even know any spells. Valheim Towers have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and visitors. Kill their leader. <sighs> Man, um, I was thinking more like I could bust tables or something for a bit. I just got here. Also, I don't know any spells. I don't know if you know that Dark Elves are supposed to know spells, but for some reason, I just, my daddy didn't teach me any. Looking to blow yourself up? Yeah. I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic, unless that blew up too. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. The Jarl's wizards? You mean like White Run? I can't even get a second serving. I didn't even buy a first one. And I couldn't afford a second if I wanted one. Um, what's the latest scoop around the town? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say no. the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. My people built that? Sight to see. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. My mama like her.
Uh, so what do you do here, man? You just kind of, you a bartender or something? You like skeever liver? No. no. Tough luck. Food's hot. Never said it was good. Glad I didn't ask for a second portion. Um, that's what you got. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Ooh, not like that, though. Let's, let's sate that appetite. Okay, chill out, man. Cyrodelic whiskey, huh? 600 seconds. I feel like that's worse than the stew I just made from some cabbages. And you know how much that stew cost me? Nothing. 40 for haunting brew. Dang. Well, let me tell you what. Can I sell you something? I don't know if my controller. Oh, that's a search. Can you only buy here in this mod? Oh, how do I? OK, so can I do R1 or something? No, I have to literally go and click. That sucks. It's OK. I don't want to sell you any of my ingredients because you wouldn't give me jack shit for them. It's aged Helga cheese, though. That's some good ass. That's some good ass cheese. Twenty one. It's a one to forty two race. Shit! I just made back all of my money for the room for the night by selling some cheese. Very balanced. Here. I'm gonna sell all. I'm gonna keep the keep that cheese because maybe I get hungry later. How much do I weigh? 89. I got a ton of just random weight on me. Thanks, man. All right then. Which one's my room? It can't be that one. That looks way too vast fancy. Is it this one? This one's closed. Oh shit! My bad. You actually in the covers? Oh, that's cute. Embry? I don't think I know who Embry is. Well, good night, Embry. I hope I get to meet you later. The music is fire. What time is it? Something. Like that. I need to slow down this time scale. I have to look this up. It's, it's it's probably like set space time scale. I would assume. Skyrim time scale. Standby. I I have to set a better time scale. It's going way too fast. It's set time scale. Am I right? Is it that simple? Oh, you have to put two in there. So we're gonna do set. Oh my god, my kid. Time scale to. Let's do 12. Let's do 12. Let's see how it goes. Midnight, perfect time to go to bed. Uh, I don't know what time the music stops, but that'd be fucking annoying if we just bought it. Let's thunder outside. We'll go to bed for. Let's see. It's, it's literally just a piece of wood and some hay. I'll say that gives me like six. Oh, we can only level up with sleeping. I wonder if that is a survival mode thing, or that's a mod overall thing, but it's probably a survival mode thing. Um, stamina is super duper important. It is super duper important, but I want to... Ooh, something's lowering my magic too. I want to also learn spells but also your health is very important especially with the higher damage in this so this is tough i have 150 stamina to start i don't know if i'm wearing something i might have a ring on or something that i found or it's probably from like the food i ate or something Oof. i feel like mm, we'll do first one health that's first though. Next one's gonna be standing though. 
might pop that up at the lock. Two perks given for one level. This skill makes it easier to cast spells like Burning Torch, Frost Rune. Love to do that. I feel like bow is gonna be important for us to start. Carry related stuff. It's like mostly just shield related. That would be nice. I would like to have that, probably. We're going to be leveling the bow, though, a lot. That will happen. Unless we're going to... Unless the spells are so good. So I'm almost afraid to invest any points anywhere that's combat until I know what I want to do. Could get our armor rating up. Which will have to happen at some point. It will definitely be a light armor run. Sneak is also important. Maybe we do. Let's do one. We're not gonna go super duper hard, but we're gonna wait to see how hard lock picking is before we invest. Illusion's cool, but it's always so much investment. I do like Illusion though, it can be fun to mess with stuff, do Frenzy, Calm, and you can make a whole build with just Illusion, and not even do a speck of damage to anybody. And there's Destruction, and I know for a fact we are going to be doing some spells. I don't have any spells. So let's do lighter. Let's do... Also I need to look into a mod where I'm still on controller with all the stuff I have, be able to block and parry with a spell in my left hand would be amazing. I don't know how I have to do it to make it work on the gamepad, but... Take light off. You are hungry. Stamina represented a dark region. Your stamina bar hunger also affects how quickly you can attack. Eat food to reduce your hunger. Cooked meals are significantly better than raw and cooked food. Eating raw meat mainly to contract food poisoning. Ooh. Okay, so our first level of hunger is not that bad. We'll eat this bread. You feel better and are now satisfied. And now I'm well fed, which I feel like is an extra on top, so I don't have to go back to it as much. We'll fight it. And while we are going to be somewhat... Uh, I assume they change how thievery works. One thing I hated about OG Skyrim is when you steal something, no one sees you, and it can be fucking a beer, right? And then a week later, three thugs come after you in the middle of town and try to murder you for a beer, and because someone randomly through divine, you know, intervention was told by God that you stole a beer from them. So I'm assuming with almost 2,000 mods in this mod pack that that has been squashed. So we have to test it. Also, hey man, I think it's complimentary. I don't know what's stealing. Right? Book on the Great War. I'd probably pick it up if it was in the room and be like, oh man, I. Oh god. It's a long book. I'll read it. I'll read it tomorrow night. That's what would really happen. Alright, we're gonna lock today in with a. Legit save. 
We wake up, it's 6.50. We need to figure out what we're doing. We do know we need to go talk to the Jarl. What's the map look like in this? That's pretty awesome, actually. So he said cross the river and head north. All right. I think also I need to make a note to, I want to get the, I think it's a toggle thing in the mod pack that you can have the like Nordic map or something. I think I would prefer that. I don't think I want a true topographic map. It's a little OP to be honest. So we're gonna, we're gonna fucking, change that at some point. Hey, uh, Mandon, one day I will be back and I will be powerful enough to hang out with you and we shall drink mead and then do this badass thing, but not today. Oh, also, is Anders up? Or whatever his name was? Embry? Ugh, I'm not gonna wake him up. That'd be so rude. I hope he's not super cool out but we'll come back we'll come back I feel like Venari is gonna wake up like this is his day to explore the town and then he's just like god fucking damn it the rain the rain looks really good it's coming down like at a slant and it's got little hit effects I like that Visibility is tough. Yeah, dude, this, this EMB makes everything dark. Which I'm, I'm okay with. The Riverwood Trader. Got like a pig's head and some gold. Like that. And that dog is big. Alright. Well, we got some stuff we need to unload, so let's go take a peek. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind Sorry me. Sorry, had to hear that. And hey, you put her in her place. Hey, don't worry about me. It smells wonderful in here. You do not look happy. You look like you just pushed something out. <laughs> What's up, Camilla? Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Oh, I don't know her name, actually. Just like, what's up, girl? I don't care about Svein and Sven and Vandal. I would not care at all. Um, I'll just notice that her hair doesn't look like shit. Her face does, but her hair doesn't. So I'll be like... Hey, uh, you seem to have like a cool style. Like, you're not from Skyrim, right? I came here I'm from not. the Imperial Province to work with my brother Luke. I hate Imperials so far. It sucks for you. Why'd you leave? It got bad back in Cyrodiil. The war with the Thalmor ruined everything. Now I just want to put the whole nasty business behind me. Thalmor, huh? Those stinky high elves that always think they're all snooty and drink their champagne and they drive Teslas and shit. Yeah. I don't like those guys either. They were staring at me while I was in the death cart. So Thalmor, huh? I mean, it's like there's a war going on or something. Do you care? Because, I mean, I'm like, I'm like centrist, you know? I came to Skyrim looking for a better life. So what did I get? Another war. This really isn't turning out the way I'd hoped. I just want to find a good husband and start a family of my own. Yikes, that's a little fast. Well, good luck to you. 
I guess if she brought it up and that random guy just threw that information at me about those two, I'll just be like, you need a good man? I mean, Sven's a beast on that drum. It's bad enough my brother is harping on me to pick one. Don't you start two. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. I mean, is Sven's that good on the drum? I wonder what Fandel can do. What's Fandel good at? You know? So my interest is, is rising about this little love triangle. But I still don't care. I'd better get going. Mm. I really like your crab reef. That's really high quality shit. Oh! Sorry. I see crabs, and I just want to get to stabbing. I can steal the mud crab off the wall? No way. I can steal a, a stuffed crab off your wall. Can I steal the snowberry wreath? You can steal everything! I didn't think that was interactable. Can I steal all this shit? Can I steal this? How about this? Ooh, a lantern. I need a lantern, actually. I think lanterns in this game that are wearable, and if they're not, that's another note I'm gonna have to make. Look at all these ingredients. This is new. Oh, this looks so much better. Like, this is what a shop would look like. He's got random shit. He's got a chest. You know, he's got food. He kind of is a little bit of everything. Textiles, tapestries. Barrels filled with actual ingredients. Very immersive. Hey, I'm not gonna check. I'm just taking a little peek. The architecture is real nice. Can I steal that slaughter fish? Probably. Alright. Hey, man, I found a bunch of shit in a cave. Uh, we wheel and deal for some. I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Just, yeah. I saw a dragon! <laughs> um, yeah, what's up with you and Camilla? Like, what's what's the problem? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Hmm. I mean, solid gold? I would imagine that's pretty rare, my man. I mean, do you know where they went? You could. I've got some I'm coin saying, coming in hey, from my last not, shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head oh to Bleak God. Falls Barrow, northwest of town. So I saw this that is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, you really? were gonna go? Well, I think your new helper here needs Girl, a guide. You got too much rouge oh, on. No, I. Too much. By the eight, fine, but only to the edge of town. Oh, you wanna go for a walk? We can make it a love quadrangle. Hey, I'll be right there with you. Let me talk to you. I'll be right there. Anyways. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. Uh, I. If it, you know, man, if I see him. I'll ride for you. Um, I've been asking everybody in this goddamn town, man. I don't even know a single spell. Not one. I know zero spells, dude. That's embarrassing as a dark elf, you know, because they think we're magical as shit. So. Do you know any spells or where I could find, you know, a spell laying around somewhere? I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. I heard about that place. So you got spells? Well, man, let me let me uh, let me show you what I got first. Maybe we can make a deal, you know. Um, arrows have weight. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. Um, look, man, don't ask me where I got these, but I earned them in a way. You take those, because I only have two arms, you know, I don't need, I don't need more than that. Um, so, 
There's a cave I have. Do these have, they have zero warmth for real? What is the point of these? Just to look cute? No armor, no warmth. Six value, one weight. And a red cape. I like the red cape. We'll sell this. I'm gonna keep, I didn't even know I had a red cape. I bet you it's an Imperial one, but I mean, I'm from Red Mountain, so red cape, you know, we gotta, we gotta be thematic. Um, I feel like I know so little about magic that I don't even know this hood is enchanted. And like when he offers me 28 gold, I'm just gonna be like, what an idiot, you know? So I'll sell him that. Um, I do have a hood that for some reason I can't sell him. But the helmet, I feel like I would keep to protect my shit. Um, literally just squeeze some juice out of spiders, because I doubt spiders carry that shit on them. So I feel like I shouldn't even have these, because I wouldn't be smart enough to know how to do that. But we're just, we're just gonna pretend like I never had them. Minor Magicka, again, don't know a single spell, but he did mention he has some, so I'm gonna hold on to him. Is it because something's favorited they don't show up here? Time out. One minute, my man. Ah. Hey. One minute. Is it... Oh, I can switch groups. Um, is it the favoriting? But you don't show on? I'm definitely not getting rid of those. All right, then. The sooner you find the claw, some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Oh, it is. So it's favoriting. Favoriting makes them not even show up. I guess, I, I guess that's OK. I would prefer they still do. But show me that they're favorited. Be like, are you sure you want to sell this? No. Get rid of this axe, don't want it. Imperial sword. Uh, I feel like the dagger felt the most natural for me because I'm not really trained in anything, so I'm gonna hold onto the dagger. Uh, wine, I'm not interested in wine right now. So I'll sell those. And I got a little bit of food. And that's about it. Got all these ingredients. I feel like I would just sell. But we're going to hold on to them for start. I would immediately get rid of this bear pelt. Whether or not I know how to make leather or whatever um, is heavy. So we sell the bear pelt. Firewood. Lockpicks cheap, good. Alright. Uh, oh, can I switch to the back? Oh, never mind, I could do this with a controller. I just don't know how to read. Fishing rod, yes, sir. That has to happen. Um, oh, and it's considered a rapier. <laughs> of course. Of course, it's a rapier. Uh, definitely buying a fishing rod. I wonder if I have to buy bait. I know nothing about fishing in Skyrim. It's past my time. Oh, we're probably not even having enough money for a spell. I feel like it's gonna be expensive. Steel arrows, much cooler looking. I like it, a little sleeker. Suspicious fork. Suspicious, huh? What's suspicious about it? Does one damage? Like it's a hide, like a hideaway weapon or something, and a wooden sword. I don't don't look suspicious to me. What do you have for clothes? Fishing boots. Does that make you better at fishing? I don't know. Fishing hat. Definitely not. That's not a sexy hat. 
hide armor. What is uh, what is my armor rating? Thirty four. And your hide armor is twenty nine. Okay. Ooh, very nice helmet. I have a free one, so I would not bother buying it. This shit looks heavy. I am not interested. Minor destruction. Wouldn't spend my money on it. Don't know no spells. None of this shit matters to me. Oh, how much do you guys charge for minor healing? 87. Ugh. Show me your spells. Oh god. I'm my own grandpa. In a fishing map of Lightrun. I have to read that. I have to read that. I'm not going to buy it right now, but... I feel like I need to have, like... Like a note. I, I really need to have some a notepad out or something to write down all the shit to remember because there's so much new stuff. Bound dagger. Bound dagger's interesting. Candlelight. That reminds me. Before we do that, do you have a... You have a lantern. Do not. Ooh, a tent? Oof. Spendy tent. It's out of my price range. How cheap are your lockpicks? Okay. We need to make some money. We need to make some money. That's for sure. Spectral Wolf. Oof, it's just out of my range. A lot of these are going to be... Flames. Eight fire damage per second. Target takes on fire... Oh, targets on fire take extra damage over time. Okay. I would like to have flames. I feel like Ash Mountain, Red Mountain, you know, Dark Elf fire resistance. Like, I would be totally cool just spewing fire out all over the place. Um... Even though I know, like, technically, sparks are the better spell, then again, this is a mod pack, so maybe things are balanced out differently. No idea. So he's got pretty basic spells. I don't think any of these spells are new. I'm sure they look different, maybe, but... So we want to we wanna get a spell. I feel like that is... Uh, Venari wants to learn magic. He's embarrassed. You know, because I feel like when he bumps into Dark Elves, I was like, oh, dude, show me your... You know, check this spell out. And I'm just sitting there like, man, I don't even know a spell. You know? I couldn't afford books as a kid. So, we need to make money. Oh, because his sister's kind of getting around. Let's be like, hey, man, did you know that, uh... Camilla's kind of getting around town. Camilla, really? Yeah. You don't have better things to do? Because I could certainly find quite a few tasks. Oh, you're mad about the Golden Claw. Bro, you just told me about that. Um, Because he kind of was kind of douchey there to me, I'm going to try and get it back on my side. I'll just be like, hey, man. <laughs> Did you see that dragon? You expect me to believe that? Yeah. This guy really doesn't like me. It's probably because I'm a dark elf. Alright, man. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for a walk with your sister. You're broke. You're fucking broke. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. It is. Yeah, I do see it though. It is. A Those nasty thieves day. must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Brilliant. 
that's a, uh, that's a cute little town you got here, Camilla. I mean, the weather I wonder sucks. why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. Yeah, he doesn't seem to like me either. I tried, but he's a slippery boy. He doesn't, he doesn't make friends easily. By the way, I'm I'm not really leaving yet, but uh, I love you showing me around. I appreciate that. Very nice bridge you got here. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw yeah. a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. I understand. It's nice walking with you. Uh, I'm going back if you want to go back with me. But I thought I'd talk to your blacksmith, find out, uh, you know, kind of what, what I have on me, see if he thinks it's any good. Um, so I'm trying to make money too. I was hoping he had a job for me or something. In fact, I should probably talk to those people that uh, Homeboy introduced me to when we got back. Strangers here in Riverwood. What can I do for you? Oh, bro, you, you dirty. Look how dirty you are. Um, you're, <laughs> you're looking lovely today. I like with what you did with the dirt on your face. I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare. Not, not without you standing out face up in that rain for about five minutes. So, uh, you're married, huh? What, uh, what does your family do around here? Alva and I, we got a daughter. Little oh, Dorothy. Alva. My girl likes to work the forge with her papa. Oh, that's cool. Dorothy needs to spend more time in the garden. I could use the help. You know, women can do whatever they want to do now, you know? You should support her if she enjoys the forge, you know? think about this war? Is it, uh, helping your family out? I just hope the war doesn't come to Riverwood. There's enough trouble in the world without those storm cloaks stirring up more. I feel you. Um, you seem nice. And I, not a lot of people like me because I'm a dark elf. You, know, you can tell by my pink skin. Um, they've been telling me to cross the bridge and go north. Is that true? Just follow the road north. When you get to Hunting Brew Meadery, turn left, and the road will take you to the city gates. Okay. That's a little bit different than I was told, but sounds similar. Um, so you're responsible for the crops, then? That's right. I've been growing some really lovely vegetables. You know, I was thinking of expanding the herb garden, make room for some new plants I'm planting. Maybe I'll do turnips next. Yeah, nah. Mm. Or maybe radishes? You just like them weird vegetables. Uh. Oh, love the dark elf option. You know, on my side, you know, with my people, those ash yams, mm, they hit the spot. It don't matter what I grow, my Alver, he'll eat anything. Hmm. Anything, huh? See why he's your husband. Because if your face is that dirty, I can't imagine. Um, well, thank you. I'll, uh, I'll see you around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. What a day. Welcome to Skyrim. Oof. Warm up by the spire real quick. Ah. Pitbull over there. 
Jones, you're out for it. We met in the bar last night. Uh, you mentioned you'd sell some shit. What you got these days? Can I show you my dagger? It's, uh... You know, it's what I got. I was wondering what your opinion was on it. Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Um... So how do you like uh, being Riverwood's blacksmith? Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. Hmm. I make I've a decent them. living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Hmm. So you know a thing or two about blades, huh? Um, you know, I heard with the war, it's getting kind of busy around here. Uh, your wife mentioned that, um, that even your daughter's helping you. You know, you wouldn't need any help around the forge, would you? I'm kind of low on coin, to be honest. I'm, I'm saving up to get a spell. So I don't know if you can tell by my pink skin. I'm a dark elf. And uh, it's kind of embarrassing that I don't know any spells. So I was kind of thinking, like, I work, you know, maybe bust some tables. I talked to this girl about busting tables. She told me that I need to go kill a bunch of people to get money. And I was like, you know, that's, that's kind of not what I'm looking to do right now. You know, I'm trying to just baby step it here. Do um, you need any help? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Oh, I know, I know a thing or two about daggers. I mean, if you didn't see this one, I mean, it's, it's, I don't know if I can make one this nice, you know, but I mean, I could try and copy this one. Um, let me give it a shot. I can use your forge, is that right? You're cool with that? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The okay. grindstone will improve your weapons. Mm -hmm. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Okay, well, let me try that dagger out real quick. All right. Well, let me pick up one of these bars and see what I can do. I was excited to this being in first person, but again, that mod, like, it's... It's in beta for a reason, uh, with Anniversary Edition, because some weird, sh some weird shit would happen. It started out really well, and then uh, I would just start to notice things, and it just didn't work out. Someday, hopefully, uh, it will be put on Nexus in its full track, and not be fucked up. So let's check this out. You can make a cooking pot? I wonder how that works. Could I like make that and then use it in my inventory or make it in camping? Like there's a lot of systems I probably am not going to figure out hours and hours and hours till I get enough free time to just try random stuff. Mr. Cash. I can make lockpicks just straight up with iron ingots. Why would I ever buy one for eight gold? Need two iron ingots to make a little tiny lockpick. Two iron ingots. How much does it cost to make a dagger? Same amount of ingots, so for somehow a lockpick and a dagger are the same thing. A suspicious knife. All the suspicious items. Fire salt. Okay, so we can make enchanted arrows. This is creation club. Which I'm probably to, I'm gonna try and avoid a lot of the Creation Club stuff. Just because a lot of it just doesn't fit for me. And a lot of the items are OP, which I don't know if I really want. But. Oh god, there's backpacks, dark leather. What the f is dark leather? I don't want to get overwhelmed with all the stuff. I do need a lantern. A linen wrap, troll fat, 
two iron ingots. Linen wrap troll fat. Okay, so if we find any linen wraps, which I know are usually all over Draugr areas, we will grab a couple. Because we do need to make a lantern for the dark areas of this mod. Which I might even make darker, we'll see after going into a few. Is there another fire salts or troll fat? Identical but the same ingredients. Leather backpack. So backpacks look important, which I know is probably also Creation Club, but it's whatever. I feel like a backpack makes sense. Bag makes sense for our belongings. So a fine leather backpack. We need three leather garnet, crundum got. Dark leather backpack, which I would prefer. It's sexy. We need three dark leather, which again, I have no idea. Where even is leather on this? Oh, I have done. I think it was here, right? I am so purple pink, it's crazy. I will have to probably tone that down someday. Dark leather is iron ore and leather. Oh, okay, so you're gonna also use ore, not an ingot, ore, so you don't wanna convert everything in this mod over to ingots unless you need it, probably. A leather cape, which is literally just for looks. I mean, they don't give you, it just weight, that's it. I'm giving you warmth. You'd think you would get a couple. Hello, husband. You're rising right. Black cape. You spent too long at the sea. Two linen wrap. Oh, this is just two linen wrap? Are all these just two uh, linen wrap? Okay. Uh, We're definitely gonna hoard linen wrap. Not just rising. Wedding finery. You must have been out when I woke up. Well, the fuck I'd is better this? get to work. I have to fix another saw blade for a third of mill. Stormlord finery. Take care, husband. No idea what that does. Okay. I feel like I've got I've got an idea. That dagger. Reminds me when I first started sniffing. Oh yeah, what do you think? Oh. Yeah, man, if I was only as good as a dungeon delver as I am a smith, right, you know? Uh, you hear about that mountain back there, by the way? I heard it's uh, some old crazy ruin. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrel, out of respect. Plunder those ruins at your peril, friend. The spirits of the dead won't look kindly upon us. Hmm. I will, I will heed that. Maybe. Let's check out this dagger, bro. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Okay. Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Let me try Good that. Out. Character equips iron dagger. Oh yeah, this doesn't feel as good as mine. I'm so purple. I have got to. Let's sharpen this up. Ooh, I see. If I could do that with that one, I could do it with mine. One of these. Hey, Alvor. Uh, you didn't mind me making an uh, iron one. Can I use some of that steel, though? You looking for a new blade? I mean, I'm trying to make mine better. Here, I sharpen this. This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Okay. I was checking Until that rack next out. time. I was checking your wife's out, too. I'm just kidding. 
Oh, I like the whole dagger infusion into the table. It's very artistic. I like that. Uh, some leather here. Oh, I could make a cape already. And finery, which I still want. Uh, yeah, I made some leather, man. Whatever you need. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Okay. All right, then. Those are the bracers I have, too. I love these. They look so cool. But I feel like I... Oh, maybe that was on my test character. I actually don't have these. They look cool, though. I would never really do a hand-to-hand -hand combat build without a Khajiit. Those are cool too. Very nice. Hide helmet, right? Soundtrack. Boom. What do you think about my helmet? Hired and steep. Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this you rate. You should pay me now. Let's improve I the need fit. This spell, man. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Okay. I character eyes steal and thinks about stealing it. Get it? Hide helmet. Fifteen. How good's mine? Let's see if I can make this better than my helmet. Ugh. What do you think? You're looking for a new blade? You have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? I don't even know what that is. Sounds cool, though. Where do I get that? Oh. Take a look. I guess you can pay me for my services by buying this dagger back three gold all that work Here you go man this is 16 18 warmth 15 all right and plus i hate imperials right now because they tried to kill me sadly that's the only clothes i have though so we'll sell them this helmet and we'll wear our pridefully wear our new one Thank you so much, Alvor, for your time. Uh, if you ever need anyone else to make some stuff and you're actually going to pay me, give me a yell. All right, then. All right, man. Send a pigeon, a crow. I don't know what y'all do. All right, maybe, maybe you. I see you side-eyeing me. Don't worry. I'll be back. Oh, uh, okay. So, try on our new helmet. Man, we have a red cape. How are we looking? We're looking pink as fuck. God damn it, dude. It did not look like that. It was I was not that pink making my character. And then, like, I just want to, like, oh, I want a really cool midnight purple tint, you know? So at night, I really look just stealth. And I just came out pink boy, you know? Alright. I feel like we've talked to everyone in town. Oh, there's Feindel. I've heard about you. Hey man, you're the talk of the town around Greetings, here. Greetings, Brother Al. Good to see a familiar face so far from home. I mean, you ain't from Morrowind, so let's not act like we know each other. Uh, how do you like all these, these white folks running around? Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. There's beauty here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. Mm. It is a good-looking place. 
Especially when it's not pitch black outside. What do you do around here, man? You just carry wood? I work at the lumber mill, but I escape into the forest whenever possible. Are I you a hunter you by chance? Else. The hills surrounding the village are ripe with game. I learned I've already taken a bear and two wolves, man. One of them ran like a little bitch. Um, so let's be real, man. You ain't from Morrowind like me. Like, where are you from, man? Somewhere where there's like a lot of trees. I miss Valenwood, but the wilds here are mm. serviceable. Okay. Man, a few words. Um, you know who else is a man of few words but has amazing hands? And you know what? Camilla is, has seen those hands at play, too, you know? You ever uh, you ever bump into Sven over at the, the tavern? He's a, he's a pretty suave, suave dude. I mean, the women seem to like him. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Oh, Thinks he works his ballads at the mill? and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him, as if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. That's all they fall oh. for. There's only two guys you can be, man, if you're going to beat Sven. You either join Sven, and you play a cooler instrument, or you're like the lead in a band. You know, or the other option is you gotta kill somebody and you need to let make sure Camilla sees you do it that'll make her think that you're like strong protective and you know the bad boy you know you should probably just go kill Sven honestly she might, but do it in front of her she'll love it um but I mean yeah man when, when has ever swooning a girl with a guitar ever worked right I don't need your jokes right now but maybe you have a point. Maybe Camilla needs some help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. I can only hammer so fast. Oh, you want a little subterfuge? Huh? I mean, I mean, man, if you were a dark elf man, I'd be like, I'd be down, I'd be down to ride, but like, you're not. And that dude can play a drum. The women like him, you know. His parties are probably a little bit cooler than yours. Oof. I mean, I'll hold on to it. I'll think about it. Um, I'll, I'll think about it. Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I, I'll think about it. All right, then. I would ask him if he could train me or show me a thing or two with archery, but I know that since he's a wood elf, like, if I even say the word bow, he's going to talk to me for another half hour or so. I not even mention it. I feel like that's about everybody. Um, doesn't look like anyone's at the mill right now. I wonder if that guy woke up. So I feel like... What time is it? 125? And I gotta slow it down even more. At the pace I go with stuff. We're gonna go to 10. I don't know what button I just clicked, but I fucking did a screenshot. That's fine. We're gonna go see if that guy's up. Come we're on trying in. to we network. We're trying to get to know everybody, figure best. out where friends should be, you know, where the money's at, right? Where are the shekels? Is this boy still sleeping? Okay, he ain't sleeping. Where, he, where is he at? You seen that guy, Ognar? Delphine? Is this a I know, I, hey, I was just looking at your room. Very nice. I like your pile of gold. Very feng shui. <laughs> Is he in my bedroom? No. I don't know where that guy's at. 
Was there a downstairs in... Oh, my God. Sven killing it, man. Sven. I mean, I just don't see the value of the other guy. Sven's just got all these skills. He can even make the the dark elf dude over there just sit down and listen and oh my gosh I'm so excited that there's even a door I've never seen before in this game like an underground you know oh, this is nice I would love this setup a bear skin rug with like a nice live edge table hi you want to sit down with a, some wine and cheese and some chairs right in front of a fire big old rack can, that you can steal <gasps> Ooh. you know i paid for a room does this count oh hi um i did not know you guys had a sauna and spa here very nice digs what else do you have here Ooh, is this is this the champagne room is this the is this the uh the back room hmm? well this way what is in here You know, the architecture here is just amazing. I like those. Okay. Very nice. Oops. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, miss. I really, I really like your room. Oh, that is a big cask of meat. That's the mother load here. What else you all got? the bar and you guys have a setup I'll tell you what if I come back t later tonight or another day I'm using that hot tub you're welcome to it if you want with me but follow me or not I will be getting naked and hopping in the hot tub hey Sven you know, I decided, man, dude, there's this wood elf talking shit about Fain you. Feindolf thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. I think Hot might think you drink too much. <sighs> I'll just be like, uh... I'll just be like, man, he'll be like, oh yeah, who's talking shit? I'm like, man, Hod talking shit? Bandil talking shit. Hmm. Sure, but I bet he can't hold his mead as well as me. That's right, brother. I hear that. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. I got you. Yeah, Fandil's talking shit about you. <sighs> what is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. As if I would write this dribble. How about we play a bit of a turnabout with Fandil? Hmm. Here, I had to use Subterfuge. simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. You know, you two might be good friends. You guys literally have the same ideas of how to screw each other over. You guys really should just talk. Y'all are y'all are blinded by the the pussy haze. But all right, man. I'll think about it. All right then. And Sven's beats have gotten so much better. Loving it. Okay, well. Alright. Benari's outside. He's talked to everybody. His first quest is to make enough money to buy his first spell and not be a total outcast anymore and no magic and be cool like the other dark elves that make fun of him for not knowing magic so 
He thinks about it. He made some money from Alvor. He knows that there's that mill there, but he, you know, he's probably afraid of like a sawmill workplace, workplace accident or something. There's also two guys already working there that are in a love triangle, and I've already been kind of, you know, playing both sides of that, trying to see what really benefits me. But I don't really want to be in the middle of that, you know, so I'm gonna stay away from the mill. Um, I did buy a fishing pole, so I think that's what I'm thinking about right now is uh, how I'm going to feed myself if I am saving money for a spell. And we have this mountain people keep referencing, and today would be a really good day to walk there. But alas, it's almost 3 p.m. already. I might have to slow the time scale down to like 6. <laughs> how slow I go. Um... We're gonna go fishing, is what I feel like I'd want to do. And that bridge was very nice place for that. I couldn't, ooh. I couldn't afford the fishing map. But, let's, let's go fishing. Oh, hold on. I'm just gonna take one to look at it. I'm not gonna steal everyone's salmon. Probably never seen one like that, so I grab a little bit of it. Oh, look at these cattails move. This has to be new. That looks great. I'm like, oh, I'm sure they won't mind me using some bait. Okay. Press activate to reel in your line. Reeling when there's a strong pull in your line will reel in your catch. Ripples on the surface when casting your line are from nearby fish. The water is calm when you cast your line. There are no more fish to catch. Wasn't this nice? Oh, I went too soon. Too soon. I wish they had like the Far Cry 5, like <laughs> that, that, uh, that reel on Far Cry 5 cracked me up, man. What'd I get? Oh, what is that? What we catch? What was that? Oh, it even says I stole this. It was probably a good time. I'm chilling, fishing, and who fishes without a beer? Nobody. So we'll drink that beer. A pog fish. A twitch fish. Health regeneration is increased by 10%. 1800 seconds. Restore 80 points of hunger. Okay, we caught a pog fish. We know where we can catch it. Or cook it, not catch it. At the tavern. Come on, baby. Come on. What do we get? Looks like a mackerel. hungry. Oh, it's a big one. Damn it. Alright. Let's go one more. Beer's wearing off. And we got money to make. Unless I can find people who will buy my fish for money. Oh. Word? I bet you... I, I would be so excited, whether this is the wor most blunt thing in the world, if you just pull up an ancient mace, I feel like that would just be the shit. I would be so excited. Be like, oh my god, is this 430 fucking money? It's amazing! Ah! Ah! See how these animations look third person. Oh, I love true directional movement. That's so good. Do I have no shoes on? 
What happened? There we go. Oh yeah, dude, they changed the uh Okay. This is very cool. I feel like uh I'd still be using my dagger, but and eleven damage. And I just fished it out of the fucking thing. Okay. How much is a fish? Not a lot. Oh, and those other fish don't even show up here. Are they like so small you can't keep them? Or are they considered an ingredient? Or they're an ingredient for everybody? We eat one because we're starving. Damage health, fuck. I just couldn't wait to eat it. It was so good. Ouch. Okay. Ooh. Not feeling good. Alright, we run to the smith, excited by what we just caught. Whatever. Take a look. I'm like, yo, dude, look at what I just pulled out of the fucking thing. How much is this? And he looks at me and goes, that is garbage. Get it out of my shop. And I was like, fuck. How much you take for it? He's like, I don't know. He like remembers that I made him like a cool dagger. He was like, look man, I know you're saving up for a spell. I'll give you five gold and you're lucky you're even getting that shit because that is garbage. And I trust him. I shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. I could have probably got more for that. I took it across the street, but I know this guy's mad at me because he wants that claw back and I didn't even say I'd do it. And then I talked about his sister and he didn't like that so I'm already on bad terms with him so I feel like I should not come back without that claw but I'm like man that's an evil ruin like if someone told me it was bad and I'm like man but it's just you know it's ancient like some people are just scared of cats I look at my watch which I don't have I look at the sky I'm like ah, it's fucking midday past midday I, I mean he's got nothing else to do I feel like we uh, grab our bow and we, we head out. I mean, it's not that far. And I like, and I'm from, and I was born in Red Mountain, man. I like hiking. I have no problems with hiking. That's fun. mushrooms and I'm like hey mushrooms are kind of food where I'm from I grab some I put them in my pocket thinking maybe if I get hungry insects I can eat those too I catch one I peel its wings off <laughs> and I put it in my pocket well, this waterfall's nice look at that that feels new too Maybe it's not. It just looks different. I don't know. All right. Well, it's told us to head up the mountain this way. That's what we're gonna do. We are gonna save because I have not saved. We're running solid frame rate. Actually, I should probably take this off the screen at some point. Oh, what's up? Sees wolf. Cox fires. Beautiful marksmanship. Right in the mouth. Give me that pelt. Non-recoverable arrows so far. Sees more mushrooms. Thinks his food. And a 
dodge button. Can I block with the, the bow? Okay, so it's just like a quick bash. Then you just draw it and then aim it. Okay. I don't know if I like the shaking. I don't mind the screen shaking, but the controller vibrating. Well, I guess that's why I use the controller, right? So I shouldn't complain about it. I just can't relax and play a PC game on the mouse and keyboard. I just like sitting back, feeling the controller, being able to slow RP walk, because on the keyboard you just like, or have to press like a button to walk. It's just, I don't know. It just doesn't put me in it for Skyrim. I love these little arc, uh, like tweaks of the world to make it look Look at that. That looks so incredibly high up. Wow. Just the throat of the world up there. Oh, oh fuck! Oh no! Whew. Dangerous. Looks it. Sun. Still got daylight. Pushes onward. Okay. <sighs> I'm probably gonna die a lot here. I have not really fully tested the modded combat to this extent a possible 3v1 or more. Also, Feel like I don't know if they're good or bad. We're gonna observe. Oops. We'll sneak in, try and listen to him. See if uh, we hear something that gives him away. Is oh, oh. I did not mean to shoot that. <laughs> Fuck. Chill out, homie. Oh, he got shot by his own dude! Or it was a bleed effect. Bobs and weaves. Barely misses arrow. Oh. Oh, dodges off the side. That's okay. Still not hit yet. Gonna split your belly like an old woman's purse. Ugh. Fuck. You bitch. Damn, you're tough. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Show yourself. Oh, I'm cold. Boom. Get some. Quick saving, because we're gonna scum as much as possible. How hard this is gonna be. Engage sneak. Warmth. So we're gonna hoard clothing with more warmth rating. Take arrows. Shitty iron dagger, don't care. Oh, this arrows, he fucking whiffed. I don't miss. Right. Come back, search this body. Arrows. Have more warmth. It does. Put those on because it's cold as shit. Iron sword, leather cape. None of these capes have warmth. Man, leather would still give you a protection layer. I don't. I don't agree. If 
have you made the cape for the survival, or the, maybe it's just no integration. Maybe this were not made with survival, other mileage could be a thing. But I feel like it should have a value. It should have a value. All right. rolling right now character thinks that if anyone heard us fighting they would have came down but he is now alone he also thinks this might be a good place to sleep now that the storm is rolled in it's five o'clock he's not sure if he should push on Oh shit. Literally craps pants. Saw that guy look like a total badass. Am I hungry or is that fatigue? What is that? He eats rabbit lunch. What what is that effect? Oh it's cold. Okay. Right, which is a max health drop? Damn, dude. That's rough. Alright. Switches to bow. Lines up shot. Someone there. Bow's OP, man. Three arrows, right? Three arrows. We gotta do the math here. Iron arrows, eight damage. Longbow, seven damage. Now, what does that mean, right? Like, it's not seven plus eight, right? That wouldn't make sense. It's 15 damage. That would be over two swings with the dagger for one bow shot. And the iron dagger doesn't even do six damage because, or a steel dagger because their AC lowers it to like, god awful garbage. I wouldn't be surprised if a bow and an arrow are combined damage, if anyone knows. It might have been that way in uh, the original Skyrim. I don't know. This has good warmth, but it's heavy. I don't really want heavy. Engraved armor, man. It's a 1 to 5 ratio. It's heavy, man. Too heavy. Doesn't want it. Some salt. Ooh, apples. Happy to see apples and cabbage. Carrots. Apples. Food is good. I know I can make stews. I'm cold. How much gold did I just get? 17? I'm kinda happy about that. That is more gold than I made all day. Besides the initial cheese that I sold that netted me like 40 coin. 40 coin. Can I get warm around a torch? It's negative. Okay. I wonder if the cold keeps going. Maybe there's levels of cold. Love the blood. Blood's great. Very excited about the blood. Does anything here look expensive? Hey. Um, that's not bad. That's a 1 to 10. Hunting bow. Notices hunting bow. Gets excited. I'm not going to strip a man naked. Look at it. It looks cooler. It looks better. It's got steel accents. It's a uh, recurved and like a composite bow, leather wrapped handle. Much better looking. Weighs more, which is interesting. We're gonna equip that. Oh yeah. Loves how it feels. Let's go. Quick save. Um, so, we did not find a bed here, 
so we're gonna push on and it's still freezing it offers no way besides breaking the wind a little bit so we're gonna push on it is 450 we still have a little bit of light the storm's getting worse however oh yeah character is literally freezing our shit right now just have leather on literally nothing else our pink skin was born in the fires of red mountain we are not used to this and it is hurting us we are immune to fire but not ice wow look how menacing that looks Shit, see someone? Crouches. Hits. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I am just shooting now because we were already attacked. He hopes that wasn't somebody really doesn't care. Self-preservation. I want that spell. Alright, this last time I'll save. We're gonna put ourselves above anybody. Carefully scale this slippery cement structure. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled. Sees guy. Studies him. Waits for his back to turn. His breath looses. He hits a little low. Good luck getting up here, bitch. Hits him in the knee again. Shit. I'll show you what a real. Got him. Oh! Crap! Fuck. That did not feel good. Oh, I forgot you can't move with jumps. Alright. That hurt. Taking a posh. Oh, headshot. He did not like that. Got him. Is he dead? Is he dead? That hurt. Also notice that the cold damage seemed to rise with that injury. Like if you lose max health, the cold. Yeah, we need to get inside. We need to get inside. We are freezing. Hold on. I'm freezing to death. I would not strip a man to sell his clothes, but I see his furs and stuff on his outfit. I'm gonna take those. And just to be fair, because I am freezing to death, I have a reason to do it. I am going to, even though this is money, don't care. I'm gonna uh, dump it on him. And just kind of meaning, like, I just took his furs, I didn't, like, strip him. Um, this hood is warm. I'm gonna resist 18, 15. We're gonna dump the hood. And for bracers are 8, 24, is 9, 13. We're gonna dump these because they're imperial also. And that's a fair trade. I don't make any money off of that. That is, that is just me taking fur off that guy, and I'll even give up. Okay, we're gonna stand up. We're gonna go check out this boy. Warhammer? Wow, look at that. Naked guy. It's like, well, how in the hell does that guy live? We're gonna go check our other kill. Oh, she was an elf. 
Well, not a dark elf, so I don't feel too bad, but I didn't like that. But hey, Summer me. They attack me without even. Well, I guess I attack them. Alright. Got some more warmth. Side. And we're hoping that the door is unlocked, because why would they be out here in this storm? We don't know. Literally turns around and sees... Looks like a chest. But it's not. I'm having visions, because I'm hypothermic. We run inside, pound on the door, and we get it. Thank God. We hope it's warm inside. check here. Yeah, it did look a little washed out. It's very hazy in here from all the snow. Kind of like that. Sees more. Draws bow. Quick saves. He's squinting. Trying to see through all the smoke and haze. But he definitely sees one. Looks down, smells the skeevers. Yuck. The skeevers look fresh. He doesn't think to chop their tails off. I have not been to an apothecary. I don't really know that they keep those because there's some use for them, so I'm going to leave them. Uh, another leather cape, probably another one with no warmth. Yeah. So we're just supposed to sit here when Arvid runs off for that golden claw? That dark elf wants to go on ahead leather. Better than us, risk Dark elf. Next. What if Arvid doesn't come back? I want my share from that claw. Just We're still it. freezing, by the way. Keep an eye out for trouble. We see that fire, and we want that fire. Someone there. Brainstem. They might bleed out. They both might bleed out. Time to end. Okay, for kilt with mantle, less warmth reading, only a 17, what am I wearing that's so goddamn high up for armors? Okay. For kilt with mantle, I don't know why that's 37 less, unless it remove. oh it might remove something else. That's probably it. Oh! What are you two up to? Also, it is very hazy in here. I wonder if it's from the smoke of the fire. But she's... Or he's getting some right now. Fail. Okay, I'll take that out of your pocket. Okay. Sees body. Specs. Runs to the fire. Oof. I'm gonna warm up. Feels good. He crouches over the fire closely to warm himself. Warms his backside. Now front side. Now backside. There's a fucking arrow in me. But hey, maybe it got stopped by our leather. Oh no, that one. Oh, I have a spell. Well, I don't count it as a spell, but let's, uh, oops, oh my god, hold on, 
Let's see what this does. Oh, I have to remove arrows myself? That is... Okay, that is awesome. I actually love that. We're favoriting that. I get an animation to pull arrows out of my body. He even went where the arrow was. I wonder if it always... It's probably always that animation, but it's funny. It kind of looked like I was bending over to pull it off of my foot. Ooh, woodcutter's axe. I would definitely grab that. Scavenge the wood piles. Thinks about cooking a skeever. Thinks better. All right, we're warm. We have a bed. So we know if we backtrack, we have a place to sleep, but it's still early in the night. I think 10 is working or eight. What time scale were we at? 10's working so far. I feel like I like 10 for now. Ooh, liking the gold. Anything over 10 gold and I'm happy. There were skeevers everywhere. God, this EMB looks great. I think this is Rudy EMB, but it mod pack comes with, like you can toggle on and off different EMBs, so. And it's only a couple from what I saw, so I might try other ones. I kind of like a dark interior to give me a reason to have a torch or a, a light source of some kind, but seeing as how I don't have one and I don't have the materials to make one, we're going to be okay with it for now. Also, I keep my eyes open for linen wraps. Ooh, look at those bones. Linen wraps we need to make all manner of things okay we're gonna we're gonna push on Ugh. I would literally just be like god these fucking spiders at this point I know that they said it was an ancient tomb but I don't think we really understand much about any like rituals of putting you know bodies ashes and sarcophagi or whatever like we know this is just like an ancient place but we don't really know much at this point about Nordic tombs say that a dark elf went ahead. I'm assuming he's the one or in the group with the claw because we haven't found a claw on anybody. And so far we've killed five people in this gang right outside of the tomb and in the tomb and then earlier another three that may or may not have been the same bandit detachment. I think they probably weren't but who knows. I feel like we'd have our dagger out in close quarters like this, in case something were to jump out. Linen wraps. I feel that maybe we, because of the cold, we'd have these, either for fire starting purposes, bundling things, creating warmth layers like linen this probably would be useful for a lot of stuff especially if we just got done freezing our asses off we 
grab it. And we learned a little bit from the smith in town. Oh man, that looks great in here. Digging this. Oh shit. Oh. Since you got to see it, he's now aware. Sees things in the walls. We're gonna just fuck with it. Holy shit! Literally had one take off my chest hair. I didn't see those. Even when you think you're perceptive, you find out you are not. Even if I saw these, oh, they're cockeyed, different directions. They're not all pointing the same way. Oh man, almost died. Literally just shit my pants there. We're noticing the things. And that one has fallen. Healing potion, I know that when it comes to potions, like, you're not going to drink a potion in an ancient tomb, but I feel like, um, maybe from taking them and, like, knowing how they work to some degree, you can kind of feel, like, the energy coming off of it that could feel similar, or, I don't know. We need them, there's no way around that. We're going to be squishy, we need them. But I do feel like just drinking a random potion is dumb. And how do I know that? Because my D&D &D group does that, and they get horrible afflictions. Um, but that's what happens when you drink random shit from a random tomb. Or from our case, like a witch's hut. It's like, oh, mother's milk? Great. From the witch's tit? Just drink it. All right, so we got snake. Snack, snack, whale. So, if we're assuming orientation is left or right, but we don't know that. But we do know if we run far enough over here, we'll be out of the way, so. Check this guy, see if he's got any info. 25 gold, oh my god, love it. Another leather cape. Uh, I doubt he has anything warmer. He doesn't. Ooh, a torch. Hold up. We got it. Or we got one something we've been wanting. Let's see how that works in here. Does that work okay? Yeah. Nice. Oh, and the torch looks so much better. Oh, and even hold it up, Dark Souls style. And there's an animation. That is so cool. Too bad I like first person, but man, that is so cool. Man. What a difference that makes immersion wise. It looks so much better. And and look, it really helps. Wow. I absolutely love that. We're gonna hold it just for funsies. Wow. Snick snack whale. Snack. Snack. Whale. Benari's gonna literally like take a sprinting stance. Can we proceed? I remember getting a ton of coin for cheese. So anytime uh, he sees cheese, wheels especially, he's taking them because he literally just slammed a block 
cheese on the table. It's old swords got nothing, and just this cheese from Helgen made him 40 coin and paid for his night stay. So I'm thinking ancient tomb cheese. It's got to be fucking crazy expensive. It would be fun if there was a mod that would show you that you could just remove I'm sure we could remove value from everything until you're in a traders menu so like you don't know what is expensive in the game until you go to a trader and have it like appraised and like you might go to a trader that would give you dog shit for something so you think it's worth nothing but then like some trader in a different city like that makes more sense or like maybe the right type of merchant give you way more so you the whole game you go thinking that something is cheap when really if you sold it to the right person it'd be expensive like an appraisal mechanic would be cool but you'd have to not have any prior knowledge or they'd have to mix stuff up it'd be a cool idea though oh you can read the titles of the books the life of eslof errol part two saw Eslef, he was a boy. So we have, this is a new book. I'm not aware of this being a book. Which means someone put their time into writing a cool story. But this is part two. So we are going to keep it. And if we find part one, we will read it. Scroll of Ice Spike. I feel like our character would detect would have used a lot of scrolls since we don't know any spells and we desperately want to learn one. Um, but it feels like it's it's not the same. So uh, definitely would take a cool old scroll. Oh, did I just set something off? We have a potion of strength. Again, a nameless potion. We don't know what it does. So we take it. But I don't know if we're going to drink it until we get it looked at another cool thing like maybe you get all these potions in this mod i'm thinking of and or items and you don't know what they are right till they're appraised and then for potions like you see what it looks like but you have no idea what it does and you have to drink it maybe and if you drink it immediately maybe it rolls like a 50 50 like 50 it's a bad thing that would have hurt you 50 that maybe it helps you but you don't know what it does until it's happening to you apologies for the noises and then uh but if you get it appraised it's always good it's always good but you have to get it appraised first but if you're gonna roll the dice and just take it without knowing what it is i feel like that'd be, that'd be pretty cool ancient nordrakar or draker or whatever so there's there's a new currency that's great no idea what that uh, conversion rate is, but I hear shit. We're gonna save. Can we block? We can. We're descending. Ah! Oh, you got stunned. Yeah! Come on. Ah! Got stunned. Get it. What's up? What's up? Did you run? Also, this footstep noise on the wood is definitely new. I don't recognize that sound at all. Is it you making the noise? Oh, my torch died. Oh, torches aren't infinite. Lame. I guess that makes sense. Is it just permanently out of my inventory? It is. Okay. Well. 
that's fine. And it did get substantially darker, but it's not like pitch black. We might keep it like this, we'll see. Weak paralysis potion, those things are OP. Scroll fireball. I feel like a scroll, we would know what it does because we can read it. But a random potion, we wouldn't know. And this is, can I move this? Can you move physics? You don't. Is, is someone coming? Is that you, hot deal? You heard me. So Damn leave. It. All right. I look at the scrolls. <laughs> As we're going through our paper part of our satchel or whatever, we see this fucking letter and we go, God, we got to do something about that. Um, fire. We are confident with fire. We are not confident with ice. Um, we're confident with fire because we have resistance to fire. We know we don't know any spells, so if we're going to fuck around with scrolls, I know I can't kill myself with fire. So we will use that if we have to. I know I ride ahead of the floor, but I need help. I'm literally crouched to the floor. I love how skeletons in this game are just held together by magic. Bone meal. Like, how would I even extract that? From him, like if I saw a skeleton, like how am I getting bone meal from it? Like maybe there's a pile underneath him of it, or something. And I knew something about bone meal. I feel like we have to meet a legit alchemist and have like an RP conversation with them. Look at their inventory, see what, like we can make money from or use potentially before we just start taking random ingredients. But hey, anything that looks like money. Taken. Cause we need stupid. All right. Benari would see the spider eggs. We've seen them before. That thing is frightening as all get out. I did not equip my bow as one. There we go. We're thinking right now. Would we shoot it in the head or in its queen butt? We're thinking spiders. We know that if, you know, eggs are on the butt, we could hit the wrong thing and little ones would come out. We do not want that. I think I'd be afraid that an arrow would even do anything. I feel like we'd already be using this fireball. Oh my god. Run. It's too big. We're happy about that. Fuck. Mm, fuck. Oh. I don't know if I want to go near you with that giant spider. Get me down. Get me down. I am rightly scared as fuck. We're gonna take our time. Get me out of here. I would not reach in and grab spider eggs from these. I would not sake. want to do that. Get me down. Get me down. Um, maybe in the ash. I see a lockpick. I'll take it. Get me down. Get me down. Get me down! Get me down! One minute. Chill out. Help me out of here! Oof. My Get God. me down! Look at Get this me thing. down! Will you be quiet? 
pull one of my arrows out of its butt. You! Over here! I'm not extracting from a spider venom. I don't know anything about spiders. Look at this fucking beastly thing. Oh. Whoever did this did a great job. It looks like a Daedric spider. Look at the markings on it. Look at the egg, just the eggs attached. Wounded web mother. I wonder if she was wounded beforehand? Wounded, like, maybe he fought her before he got tied up? Oh, I am on, that's dumb. Help me out of here! Interesting, interesting. Get me out of here! I just slowly put my back. I'm afraid of this thing. Backed. I put a fucking bolt in its head. Oh. I see very thin webs holding you up, my friend. Hmm. So you're the dark elf I heard about that took the claw. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Um, the claw. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Ah, uh, spells? Oh, hold on, hold on. I believe in money. So. I mean, you give me good faith. I give you good faith. Why don't you let me hold the claw, then? Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. <sighs> okay. It's coming loose. I can feel it. All right, man. What about this claw? You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? You mother. Hey! Be careful. Give me it. Give me the claw. You just call me a, an N. What? How dare you? He ran from us. He gets. He gets fork stabbed. Ooh. They they spiffed up the golden claw. I like that. Bear, butterfly, owl. Wait, you're dead. Wait, you're dead. Um. Externally, my fingers are trembling. The golden claw is finally in my hands, and with it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool. Luke and Valerius had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away. But that, when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Okay. Well, we don't need your journal. We read it. Fucking running from me. Oh, linen wrap. Take that. We search the place for loot. We open and we see a beautifully intricate ring with gorgeous Celtic engravings and what looks to be some sort of gemstone finely cut in the center. We have no magical abilities yet, so we have no idea if it does anything, and thusly we are too afraid to put it on. But put it in our pocket. Ooh, this looks I think I would know what a gemstone is. They're kind of like a soul gem. They're kind of a big deal around the world, so. We would know what that is. We're gonna take it. 
take the linen wraps. Ugh, tools. This kind of looks like a lock pick. I feel like I would almost grab that. about the last time we were outside and how much time we spent down here and we feel like it's late but we don't feel tired we're pretty uh energized from the excitement so we press and a creepy feeling comes over us and we don't know why Dead bodies. Old ones. Look at that. Being from Morrowind, I understand the sanctity of a resting place because if you've played Morrowind if you go into like the old family crypts and stuff they like jack those things up with traps and all manner of bone creatures and all sorts of crazy shit so I even if I saw their currency like next to it I probably right now wouldn't touch it um, I get a creepy feeling because I know how dangerous those places are Look at all these bodies. Wow. All manner of different stages of decay, which is curious. Look at all of these bodies. Oh! He's freaking out. Immediately back then. Oof. the shit out of him. Immediately not about it. Thinks about turning around. Starts crouching. Moving very silently. Staying as far away from any of them as he can. <laughs> Laughs at the trap laid before him. Yesterday. Also doesn't want to get near the, any of these bodies. <sighs> Slowly walks around it. Really puckering right now. Puckering. We could wake up more and forward. We have to fight. Whew. His mind starts running through. What is he gonna do? Man. Don't know. He knows the bow worked before. Maybe he can get some shots off. Flashes from still gets in a bunch of hits. Scared. Back to crouch.
it is it is a kill it is jewelry and the thing did attack him I mean, and he put it down so I feel like he feels safe we'll take the amulet 32 arrows oh my gosh this thing had a whole quiver sees the bow we'll compare it I think our bows pretty new it's not ancient it's lighter it looks lighter actually don't know if it's lighter. is it lighter it's lighter okay sees the arrows they look fletched well arrows are a finite resource how many arrows do we have now a hundred and they're new these are old here's what we'll do we will take some out of our quiver and replace them with these because they look so well like fletched Scroll of Mage Light. You create a hovering light, last 300 seconds, and lands wherever you are pointing. That sounds good. If we get somewhere insanely dark, we will, uh. What was the button to switch? Was it Y? Oh, group. What does that do? Oh, is this the switch? I don't know how this works. This is built for PC mouse. I don't know how it works. I will have to figure that out. Maybe I can get it to work. Better. Might be a way to quick switch it easier. We'll get there when we get there. I see the flaming pot and I'm wondering how the fuck that is even still there maybe it's an eternal flame eternal flame that's what I tell myself very very careful oh that one's standing though they don't stand Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust it. Man, that sneak damage is worth it. It is worth it. the gas the oil I see the dude I said I think I'll, I'll loose an arrow if I can't bring it down in two 
That's my backup plan. Here's the other one. I got here. At this point, because of the sneak, I feel a lot better. Like, I feel like I could turn the combat up a notch. But this is the very first area that the game expects you to go. So, we're gonna, hold, we're gonna keep it where it's at for now. And I feel like I'm, I'm playing fairly smart. What the fuck? Look at this bad boy. Imagine getting hit in the chest with that thing. Oh my god. All right, moving on. Let's see the other side. point Venari is really thinking that based off of how much people have paid him to do things so far that this better fucking be worth it and that if it's not he's keeping that goddamn claw but he knows it'll be tough to talk to Lucan to figure out how much he would have given him if he doesn't show him the claw so it's kind of a damned if you do damned if you don't thing unless we just take the claw and run and obviously Lucan uh, from the Dark Elf we had to kill it says that Lucan doesn't know what his, his little decor item is but I feel like if it's his prized thing he might still really think it's worth something I don't know but this definitely isn't worth my life but I'm almost afraid to go back based on how many bodies we snuck past and we're this far already oh my god Interesting. Oh, that's, I don't know why that scared me. I thought that was like a Draugr. Oh, these look very cool. Like I said, mushrooms could mean food, but he is a little wary that, uh, like, it's also spores floating in the air from it, like, it's... <laughs> and it's glowing. Maybe not a good idea to eat those unless, uh, we get really hungry. But right now, it seems like we're only just slightly hungry. Let's grab some bread. We're satisfied. Let's grab... Definitely not eating cheese, because we know it's worth money. An apple. So far I feel like the survival mode is not that bad. I know that I slowed time scale down, that's probably part of it, but the cold I can deal with probably gets much worse. We'll see. Miner, pickaxe, pick it up. 
He obviously died thinking it was good. So I think I'll grab some of it. Um, I feel like I don't have to go through a dead body. If this is a skeleton, it's probably a bag next to him. I'll grab that. He ain't gonna need it. Still won't touch the bone meal. Grab some of these mushrooms. And, uh... Let's see if they changed anything with mine. If they kept it vanilla. Oh, the only three. I can dig that. Nine is just nuts. I uh, hopefully it doesn't skip out on a potential gem. I doubt it does. But we need ore. So now we got a woodcutter's axe and a pickaxe, all for free. I will take it. We'll save. Three. More free food, potential food. Ooh, what do we see in here? We see a gemstone. We don't know what it is, but you no know shiny is usually paid well. See more coin. We've already used a scroll fireball, and it did help us. So we are excited we found another one of those, because we know we have enough money. We know in our head we've collected enough to get that fireball spell, or not fireball, but flame spray or whatever, flames from Lucan. So we're excited that we're gonna get to actually try and learn a spell, so we'll be cool. And uh, so we're just gonna start getting ready. So if we see a fire or whatever scroll, we're so excited, we're just gonna pop that when we think it's best necessary. I don't know what it is. There is some arrow drop to the archery gameplay overhaul, which is not part of this mod pack, which I don't know why it's not, why you would take that out. But I don't know how much archery gameplay overhaul really changes, but it feels good. It, feel, it just feels good, the speed of the arrows, the amount of drop, like it, it just feels good. So it could be, I don't, I don't know how much it changes. I've read it, but you don't really know, you know, until you use it, it feels good. So far, it's a recommend. I definitely noticed that, like, movement is... So it says forward, backwards. Not too slowed down. It's a little slower. Drawing an arrow speed. And then loosing an arrow. I feel like has recovery time. But we're in... Yep, so there's recovery time after each arrow shot. Because while you're still pulling and reloading, it's like takes concentration, so you've gotta slow it down. Also, what are these this iron arrow? What happened to my uh Nordy boys? There we go. Well very cool how you can actually see your hand now with the FOB. I like it. I'm liking it. All this feels feels good. Getting used to the combat. One thing I have, well, because I found this bow and I've been using it, is the parrying system. We did it to the rats, where if you just parry within a certain time frame, you can stun somebody. Um, we gotta start working on that, and then the dodge mechanic, of course. Oh, we are already, we are already ready to rock with that fireball, which I don't want to be. Ooh, someone died recently. Look at that, gross. Kick, I kick it. In disgust. Seagull. More escape. Another man that died. Or something in a chest. Oh, it's so important. I feel like I have other potions that look like that, but I'll definitely drink it. 
Not the one I will drink, if I have to drink one. This is more what I wanted his skin to look like, is this kind of deep purple. And so I guess in this lighting, it looks like I wanted it to, but outside in the daytime, man, I'm peeing for it. Huh. Huh. I'm hungry. Huh. He accepts he can't reach them. Doesn't care. Moves on. like a cool put away animation. I don't think it's under sneaking. That's sort of like a... Oh, okay. Okay. FOV makes it tough to see it, but I like it. I respect it. Ooh. What do we have? Can't be... Buddy, but a tracker in me. Dark Elf is the last one. Oh, look at the size of that hammer reflection or shadow. Sees this opening. Fires. Throat. Oh. doesn't happen too often. It's the first time it has. Okay. Slow down. Here, over, over, over. Let's see. The Dragonborn Hill. Skeevers. Fucking shitty little skeevers. And these eternal flames. And candles. Has to be magic. Which just reminds us that one day we will have it. We want to have magic so badly. We want to be cool. I don't know why my dodge didn't work. Or my... Yeah, my forward dodge. But I did not. I was like, nope. Whew. 
sees gem, eyes blow up out of my head. I'm so excited. I can't wait to do that spell. We're partly even thinking that if we go back now without this claw, we can still buy the spell, but we know he probably won't sell it to us unless we get the claw. Unless we might be able to buy more than one. Man. Greed is pushing us. Breath. Holds breath, holds breath, holds breath. Yes. Go back. Where are you going? See your friend? I didn't know what sneak like. It must be dark. It's all get out. Keep walking, boy. Keep walking. Keep walking. Quiver, how many we got? 51. I uh, take some out. They don't all fit. I don't know if I'm gonna put a number limit on how many arrows I can carry, but I might. Maybe it's a hundred or less. Look at the oil. Oh man, that looks great. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that ray tracing GTX 4080 RTS DLLSS SMAA. Look at that. Looks great. Crouch engaged. Let's switch again. Try to look down when I sheath or draw casually. Ooh. I'll draw a this. Look at this. Oh, I love the ambiance in here. It looks so good. I wish I had a torch. We look at the cave paintings. What do we see? You see a bunch of what look like wizards with a dog carrying a uh, a dead king with a sword on his chest. Kind of looks like um, kind of looks like Lord Gwyn, the Lord of Cinder. So up here, 
Here's the butterflies from the uh, the claw. We've got. I don't know. It kind of makes me think of uh, like a god of some kind surrounded by butterflies. Whoever that would represent. I guess for Venari, it kind of reminds him of Azura in a way. Just a matronly, godly figure. There's a butterfly again. Another sword. King. So butterflies are some significance. It's the same one. We have another repeat, but this time we have a king or grand wizard with two staves. With a, a bear. Bear claw. I assume this is the same. Yep. And if I had to guess, there's gonna be an owl on this one. Yep. Got the owl. Very similar looking dude. But he's got wings. Very cool. That's got is that the mod? Or is did I just never notice? I feel like that's the mod. What is this one? Wow, look at the daggers. I don't know what it is, but this one I don't like. This one scares scares him. Doesn't know why. And it's the last one. And it's not to hit on the claw, so he doesn't like it. Alright, we see the claw imprint, we see this, the markings, we're not dummies, we're gonna look at this, go bear, butterfly, ow, okay, it tries turning it, we move, and then press it, bear, As he's turning these, he's only getting more scared, and in his mind, he's thinking of this figure and wondering, what is this marking? Why is it not on the wall? What is the significance of this figure? He just gets a murky feeling. Take out the claw, we put it in the recess. We tremble as the door begins to open. Russian dank, old, thick hair flows past us as the echo of the door rings down this hallway. But we're surprised to see a light, but yet also not surprised. Something is keeping the flames lit here. down his progress in this journal. Oh my motherfucker. See some more. He's a little afraid to make noise here, but money's money and we need it. We're gonna survive in this cold place. EMV looks great. I wonder how it looks on stream, but I mean, look at the difference. Like, I like how that's a little more eerie and dark. Like, I kind of almost want to darken up this mod a little bit, but it has areas that are pretty dark, but I might want to take it down just a smidge. But the coloring is out of this world better. You forget how bad Skyrim used to look, how gray it was. It was gray and yellow. That's all the game was gray and yellow, gray and yellow, but man, that EMB looks great. Really, it's 
got a really good vibe to it. But I'll have to try the other ones, because uh, maybe I'll like one of the other ones more. This looks ritualistic. Part of part of us thinks this is exciting. We're learning things. We're on our way to learning magic. This could be magical. Like we're just getting a lot of solid opportunities by risking our lives in this place. All the while knowing that it could be ripped off. And, you know, Riverwood could be bougie. Everything's expensive there. Who knows? We got nothing better to do. Still a little scared. Just look around. like the chanting we're not sure if it's the wind if it's in our head or if we really hear it it's so faint we can't tell as we step closer somehow, but we don't understand how. And then it goes away, and we wonder if it was in our heads. We don't feel any different. Look at this. No doubt a dragon. How did they even get the stone here? Was it carved out? How long did it take? How long ago was it? We don't know. No, it's old though. And a way outside. We don't know if we're deep and we're on the side or this is literally the peak and it's got a hole in it. We have no idea. We know there's water. Even close. I don't know. Holy shit. You rush it. It seems not to care. Oh, dodged right through that. Get out of here. Oh my god. Remembers the scroll. Running, 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 running. Slow. We can at least thank ourselves that it's slow. Oh. Oh, we're hurt. Drink a potion while he's getting around. Oh, that hurt. Oh, don't hit me. Fuck. Wow, that shout's no fucking joke. Note to self. Wait for the shout. Dodge, last second. All right. We're gonna pretend like I do all that cool RP shit as we get up to this wall. We'll do a quick save after it. And we'll try and get through that fight with a steel dagger. Alright. Pulls out the scroll. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, 
that hurts so much. Fuck you. Don't shout. What'd you say? Ow. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I kind of like how how uh, tough that was. I mean, I'm gonna call it tough. I only died once, but like, that's a lot more involved. If you get hit, you get fucking hit. I really like that. That feels fairly balanced. It was a challenge, at least, and it wasn't uh, a restart or go back from save ten times. It was it was nice. I liked it. It was involved. Um. Part of me says I've, I got hit by it, so I felt that it, like, froze my skin. So I might not know intrinsically, like, by looking at it, that it's magical, but I could feel that it did something. And I don't know, but I could assume it was the creatures. Maybe I can feel it, and I can feel it being cold. But I definitely took a hit from it, and I know that it burnt. Um, the stone, we have no idea what this is. It looks ancient. And if we don't make our money off Lucan with a claw, we might at least make money with this. So we take it. It is heavy. We lift it up, it's heavy. But it did hurt. Maybe we grab it and we see what it feels like. That stamina drain. Yeah. Oh, put it away. And we'll uh, see if we can bash a rat with it. It can be our rat bashing stick at the very least. Crossbow. That rocks. I like bows in this game, but a crossbow, though, man, that sounds awesome. Right? I don't know why I kind of want it. Or a ring. Again, we don't know what this ring does. Uh, maybe if we take it to Lucan, he can tell us. I want there to be some sort of thing where I don't just put shit on because I know what curses are and like, you know, I guess I could apply to weapons too, but I don't know. Rings and amulets just seem to always be the, the thing. Let's favorite this and let's equip it. Ooh. Okay, so you hold it, you zoom in after, yep. I like it. We'll try it out. What's the damage? What is the, what is the meta? 10 and 10, when this is eight and eight or eight and nine, stronger, probably can't shoot as fast. I kinda like it. I kinda like it. Bash with it. Oh, so why is my cursor freaking out? It's weird. Oh man, we're hoping.
This is over right about now. Oh, I won't be able to get back up without a rope, and I don't have one. Maybe I see the vines and like, oh, I can climb those. Snowberry wreath. Why is my cursor? What's the crossbow? What's the crossbow? Take this out. I have to do that first. Huh. I don't know. We're gonna leave the skull alone. We did see this wreath uh, at Lucan's. Snap the tire. Okay. Check the chest. Garbage. Yeah, after a while, that's uh. cursor doesn't go away and it starts to flash the crossbow only else I would have noticed it I don't know I don't know I don't know what's doing it but I notice it we see light we go outside I think I'm about to call this session it's 9:30 that was a good first session. I really enjoyed it, even though I've done this quest like seven times. It's fun to see the, the little things this mod adds. And this is like a, a normal, like, stock starter quest. They're gonna have a ton of extra stuff, and I'm really excited to see all the new things and tweaks and brand new content. Alright, we get outside. We remember there was a bed all the way at the start. But we'd have to go all the way back through. And uh, I think right now we're thinking about getting to bed. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. We're getting a little tired. Random potion. We take it. There's the cursor freaking out again. We're like on the side of the mountain. Used to be entrances here that just are no more. All right, we're gonna drop. Hopefully, we don't get hurt. Oof. Save down. Oh, we see Riverwood. That's where we're gonna go. Ooh. What the fuck? What is this? What did they call this? Stadomar. Cleared? Ow. Shovel. Does this hurt us? Red. I was, you know, he tries to stab it. Nothing happens. He thinks, oh, maybe magic. I feel like I'd be desperate. I'll try, I'll try that. For the shot. Nothing happens. Oh, what is that? This is a bug don't go to 100 please i'm glad we saved this makes no sense i have i have no mods that change spells of any kind not a single one and we launched a few fireball scrolls we do one mage light and now we have i i guarantee you this is gonna go straight to 100 it has to whenever this happens and oh 21 for one scroll I don't know if I want all those points. I don't know if I want those. 
21 for one scroll. What's the capstones of this? Yeah. Well. We are not going to accept those chump ass levels. We don't do that. We we're casting a simple unless was it casting it in it that did it? I don't think so. I think it's just broke. Let's find out. Let's one more time. Then maybe I can send something to Septimus Discord with a video attached. Is it casting it in that levels me up? It is. No way, I just thought of that and it like bugs out. Oh man, I found a cheat. Hold on. Now we have to do this for science. I guess we're playing a little bit longer until I figure this out and then go to Riverwood and save. All right, let's try this out. Mage Light does not level me up. Do it in there. Wonder if it counts as like affecting this, so it's like a constant for the life of the spell leveling. Me. That's crazy. Well, if I had no restraint, I would go get that fireball spell and I would just start shooting it into that and raise my destruction by a shit ton with a scroll even but that's no fun okay modded statamar you are obviously somewhat broken so we're gonna, we're gonna ignore you also wish i could also it might be a thing with the, let's take our mouse out I make notes or something? No. Uh, journal. Can I write in it? No. I want to. Okay. We need to make notes. We need to make notes. We need. We need journal mod. I want journal mod. And we want um, to toggle. Nordic map and also try the other ENV sets. I'll do that on the test account in between these streams. I'm going to try and make this a regular thing and do like three to four hours on this modded two. It's almost 2000 mods for Septimus 4. Obviously, it's not perfect. I've already found a way to speed level, but we'll ignore it. We don't want to do that. But we're just going to make it a bit more immersive, have a journal. Oh, a fishing spot. Um, where's the river? Right there. All right. Maybe I saw some fish drown. Oh, no. Where's the, uh... I'm confused about where I am. Riverwood's all the way over here. We came out all the way down here. I almost need to walk back. Then what's over there? I don't even know. Did we go check it out? Maybe we don't know where we are, right? We come out of the map. We have no idea where we are. We see habitation. We'll head that way. We see a possible pl ooh clay deposit.
Oh, this is never ending. Okay, we'll sell, we'll sell some clay. Oh, hello? Hello! And another. Hello, good sir. What's your name? Good evening. Good evening. Where are you headed? Oh, you can take me somewhere. Oh, to the Guardian Stones. That would definitely... Oh, but 30 gold. That would definitely... All right. That would definitely put me... where I know I am. Because after coming out of there, I don't know where I am. What do you need? Where are you headed? I'm gonna have to pay. I think RPY... You just enjoy the fresh sense. air and leave the rowing to me. It takes me to the Guardian Stones. I'll know where I am and where Riverwood is from there. The map to me is um, like fourth wall knowledge. It's not character knowledge. All right. Thanks, dude. Warm up by the fire real quick. He tells me, hey, feel free to have a fish. And I will do that. And it's gone. Oh no, here it is. That. around Lake Ilnata. Makes sense. Alright, we're out of here. Thanks again, dude. We feel dumb because he barely took us for a ride for 30 gold, but we asked him where we were and he's like, hey, I'll take you where you want to go. We're still the deep stone. We're still digging it. It's getting dark. Birds. Oh man, look at that. Look at the skybox in this mod, it's so gorgeous. You have like god rays from the stars. I hear whispering. Don't care. We are tired. We are excited to get our spell. I killed this dog. Pick it up. Excited to stop and look at that thing. Maybe I've heard of Nern Root. Maybe not. Right now I don't care. Alright, it's too late to go knocking on Lucan's door, but we do know we have what he requires. And. Who's that dog I keep hearing? Let's see if it is this dog. This I didn't need to know. Oh. Who's my stumpy one be hands? Yeah, it's definitely you. You're a big boy. Okay. Better stump. Alright. We are not looking forward to paying another 40 gold to sleep here, but... We are going to pay it we don't want to impose on welcome uh, let me know if you want anything think a I very got a kind mug around here somewhere us a place to sleep we provide for ourselves we will ask for help when we need it but we will not ask for it if we don't need it and today we have plenty of gold and we'll still have enough to spell and we haven't even sold we still haven't met this crazy motherfucker. Always sleeping. There he is again, Embry. I'm gonna have to wake him up. Or, I can't, I can't. There's a. Uh, uh, 
Delphine? What? I don't have time for this. Sorry. Can I have a room? Do you know anything about the... Oh, I'll ask her about Bleak, Bleak Falls. Bleak Falls Barrow. Interesting. That's a notorious bandit hideout. Not anymore. Why? Um, I'll tell her a reason by my own, because she might know of something that's there. So I'll just... No reason. Right then. Wanderer like you must have quite an appetite. Some food? Oh, I'll take sure a Sure thing. Actually. It's yours for a day. Oh. You're that visitor been poking Anything around. Anything else going on around here? Word is Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War is only going to get Word worse right. now. Thank you. My bad. Assume it's this room again. Good night. Okay. We're gonna get... Oof. Five hours. We know we're gonna get a spell, finally. So we're gonna invest in some magic. And more health, because our stamina is high for some reason. We have two perks. Damn. Um, so far, one handed and archery seems to be real good for us. You gain 50% stamina while wearing a light while wearing a light armor chest piece. That is good. We're in it. What about this. Oh, so it's all based on just the chest piece. It's kind of nice. Sneak attacks bows deal 50% more. Damn. Melee weapons, which I don't feel like we're that good at sneaking yet. To be stabbing people in the back. Uh, we don't want that. Oh, silent roll, okay. 25% faster. Our spells are silent. Okay. Sneak is definitely something we're gonna want. Third. Okay. We'll get there. Archery's great. We're gonna have to. potatoes. We can serve them with the ale. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Wait, let me guess. You'll get to it later. Don't I always? Oh. I don't suppose I could convince you can't to take care of it guy. now. He's up. No. Well, there's something to be said for honesty. Did I, I just... No. He works somewhere. Don't know. Someday we'll meet the elusive sleeper. Someday. Probably I've already met him and I'm just blanking. It's not you, right? Oh, it is you. God damn it. What do you want? That's so stupid. How you feeling? I man? need another drink. Work at that mill back there? Forget it. I don't do that kind of work. Me neither, man. Cheers to that. Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. Choose what's staring. Alright, later, man. Mm, mm. Okay. This is a good spot. We have our hall. We have, uh... Amulet we don't know about. We need to get appraised. I feel like... 
when we're told what it is, we're just gonna sell it because it's like, oh, it makes your the voice stronger, or that's what Talos is all about. So you know, you get blessings of the voice. So I'm be like, oh, the fuck that is. So I'll sell it probably. Uh, I'll get this appraised, and maybe they tell me it's it's magical and that it won't hurt you. I mean, I don't know anything else. I'll put that on. These will get appraised, and it's just cash. A bunch of these potions, I don't know what they are. I feel like anything that's not stamina or health, I wouldn't know what it is until I talk to an apothecary, maybe. And there isn't one in this town, so maybe um, I don't use any of those or I sell them. The ice spike, I might sell that. Mage light, I have to sell, or no, I'll keep mage light. It's, Mage Light wasn't broken, it was the barrel that was broken we shot it at. We need to make some food before we leave permanently. We have all these ingredients that I don't know what I want to do with RP-wise. So I gotta deal with Sven. This is why I need a journal. This is why I need a journal, so when I come back to this game a day or two from now, I can remember what the fuck I need to do, besides just quest logs. You know, like actually write it down. And we have a book that someday we want to read if we find volume one. We've got keys and some stuff to sell. Alvor, whoever. Um, you save it. This PC is taking time bomb. All right, y'all. I know no one's here, but. It was fun. I'll keep doing it. Maybe some of you will watch it later. Have a good night. Deuce.